This film builds on the ideas introduced in the film The Thermal Wind. In the UK, our weather is dominated by the passage of cyclones and anticyclones. We can simulate cyclones and anticyclones in a demonstration using water to stand in for the atmosphere. I put this shallow tank of water on a turntable. This turntable has been specially adapted. Don't use mains electricity if you try this experiment at home. The revolving of the turntable represents the once a day revolution of the Earth. The Coriolis effect gets stronger as we move from the equator to the pole. To simulate this, I've set the turntable revolving faster than it was in the thermal wind demonstration. I've added coloured dye and some special visualisation fluid so that we can see the movement of the water more easily. In the centre, I've placed a can of ice to represent the cold polar regions, and to the outside, I'm going to add some hot water representing the heat of the tropics. It takes a while for the flow to settle down. After a while, the flow, driven by the temperature difference, settles down to something like what we saw in the thermal wind demonstration, but this time there's a wavy motion superimposed. This is related to the increased speed of rotation. The cyclone is a concentration of the Earth's rotation. Here's one near the pole. Here's another. The water here is revolving a little faster than the rest of the tank. In the atmosphere, these giant swirling motions transport heat northwards from the tropics towards the poles. An anticyclone, on the other hand, is a dilution of the Earth's rotation. That's these big things here near the tropics. One there, one there, and one there. The water there revolves a little slower than the tank. And here, snaking between them, is our model jet stream. Experiments like this became popular in the 1950s. By building very precisely controlled laboratory versions of this apparatus and varying the speeds, temperatures and configurations, scientists were able to advance our understanding of atmospheric motion. Scientists still study experiments like this, but with the rapid growth of computer power, most modern simulations of atmospheric flow are done using computer models. In this version of the experiment, the camera is rotating along with the turntable and I've sprinkled some pink glitter onto the water surface to show the movement more clearly. The glitter has become concentrated in the jet stream. You can see the cyclones where the motion is anti-clockwise. In this case, again, there are three of them, the three areas inside the jet stream and three anti-cyclones where the motion is clockwise outside the jet stream. Thank you.